Hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? Well, lost somewhere in downtown Kisonaga. But stick with us because I promise you, you're going to get a view. A view to die for. A view that's going to take your breath away. We are going to work our way through the plantations. We're going to wiggle left. We're going to wiggle right. But I promise you, at the end of this video, you're going to get a view straight out across the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Now, there's the odd storm coming along, as you may have noticed. That's the blueness out there. And there's a bit of choppiness. There's a bit of cappuccino floating on the top of the sea. But of course, when we get to it, it's going to take your breath away because in the distance it's the CU Beach Bar and that sits on the cusp of the blueness of the blue blue Mediterranean Sea and we're actually going to venture towards Coral Bay and there's a lot of blueness out there and if your name is Lady Alley you've got a man in your life called Sir Neil and you've got two dads oh yeah one called Sir Brian and of course one called Lord Mike this video is especially for you we're missing you like crazy. You did us the great honour of coming to see us two or three times, of course, on Brian's birthday. And uh, we ch chuch danced a little bit. Of course, Lord Mike got to have, well, a little bit of a smooch with Miss Archie with CV on the booth. I'm pretty sure he's got a soft spot for her. But guess what, Lord Mike? She's got a soft spot for you. Brian, we hope you're having a great, great time. And we know that you had a great time in Paphos on your first little visit. And we're looking forward to seeing you again very, very soon indeed. So of course, as Lady Ali was saying, she's looking forward to doing it all over again and again. And next year is not that far away. So we'll be waiting, especially for you. Oh, and by the way, the car needs a wash, but I'm not gonna wash it today because unfortunately there's that stuff on the road, puddles and all those sorts of things. Look at that, Sonica, one kilometer. So that's our next destination. And then we'll wiggle through the village, and we'll get down to the main coast road from Paphos to Coral Bay. You're going to get a great view past the CU Beach Bar. And then we're going to head out to Coral Bay and do the main strip. Especially for Lady Ali, Sir Neil, Sir Brian, Lord Mike. And of course for some other superstars as well. If your name is David Potter, yes, get ready. If your name is James Henry, yes, get ready. The Coral Bay Strip is coming especially for you and the sun is breaking through it's shining like crazy because it understands that there's an awful lot of people in Paphos who are looking to get a sun tan so if your name is my cuz King James you've got a queen in your life called Queen Kareem now if your father's a king and if your mum's a queen and you're a daughter well that must mean that you're a princess Princess Dali, guess what? We're waiting, especially for you. And you never know, there could be a cheesecake flavored muffin waiting, especially for you. If you want a bit of chocolate chip on the top of it, I'll have a word with them. And guess what? It'll be waiting just for you. Here we are. We're in Kasonica Village. There's the big church right in front of us in the center. We're gonna go Right, and we're going to head down towards the CU Beach Bar at the Casonica Crossroads. Then we're going to take a right and we're going to head out towards Paya. And of course, to the left hand side will be Coral Bay. So that means Coral Bay Strip is coming up very, very soon indeed. So don't click off just yet. Stick with us and let's have a see what's actually going on on the strip. I got a feeling there'll be a lot of people walking around in shorts and t-shirts and they'll be having a great, great time indeed. Paphos, by the way, you know, it's got a very, very long summer season, shall we say. Autumn season's around the corner, obviously, but autumn, well, it's pretty gentle on us in downtown Paphos. So perhaps you're coming from downtown Krakow in Poland, yeah. Perhaps your name is Lady Anna, my superstar. And of course, there's a man in your life, he's our superstar. And of course, that is Sir Tomas. And if you've got a son, yeah, he's a great friend of ours. And of course, that's Mr. Bart. He's gonna be the greatest lawyer in the world. But not until his mum retires, because of course, at the moment, she is already the greatest lawyer in the world. And on top of all of that, 
a judge to boot. So guess what? She can equip me. Excellent. So if these rights are on red, Miss Andrea, I'm telling you what, we're going to transcend straight through. Well, we're not actually, but there's four or five cars in front of us. But never mind. What's wrong with these people? Will we get through the traffic lights? I don't know. That is the Bayside kiosk right over there. And guess what? If your name is Sir Martin and you've got a blonde beauty in your life and her name is Lady Victoria, they've got a very, very good humifier in there and they sell an awful lot of cigars. And that cigar, the Quantum cigar that you enjoyed last night, guess what? That's where I bought it. So on my way back from Coral Bay, I'm going to pop in there and spend a couple of thousand euros on buying those special, special cigars. Only joking. They're much, much cheaper in Cyprus than they are in the UK. And the ideas of the smoking lounge in the Marika and Me Hotel, what a great idea. We were fantasising only last night talking about, well, the craziness of the Marika and Me lounge bar and the hotel that is the plan in the future. And there's going to be a smoking lounge in there and there will be Chesterfield seats in there and everyone will be wearing a smoking jacket. Mine will be blue, of course. And we'll be smoking massive cigars and we'll have an extractor fan and people will be thinking the hotel's on fire and all those things. These are the fantasies of two lunatics. One's called Sir Martin and one is called Mr. Paul. But you never know, it might all come true. So don't forget to keep coming back to the little channel known as Marie Curie and watch as the channel evolves into complete and utter madness. Or as Sir Phil from up down in Camaras, the girl in his life, of course, is Lady Cleeta, and she's going to be smacking him around the head right now with a frying pan. So knocking some sense into him, you never know. No, probably not. My mother tried that with me. It, it never worked. It just never worked. I just got worse. There we go. Right, see you back. Be blah, blah, blah. See you, Beach Bar on the left hand side a favorite among many many people i know that but if your name is sir daniel and you've got a girl in your life with a bit of sweetness of course her name is lady sherry wright but she's always right and of course now coming up is the blueness and the blueness of the blue 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 mediterranean sea and that's coral bay sticking out into it so we haven't got far to go have we and we'll be turning left at the little roundabout in Payer and Chuchka dancing down the Coral Bay Strip. See what's going on. Let's see what's open. And let's see how many people are walking around enjoying themselves. Because I got a feeling there's going to be a few. And you never know. One or two of you may even know who Marika and me are. If you want to jump out from the car, I promise only drive slowly and I will come to a screaming halt and say yes, as Gumbaru, especially to you. Coral Bay is coming up next. And it's a great, great tourist destination. Of course, people live here full time as well. If you're curious to know about Payer, there's around about 4,000 foreign expats living here as permanent residents, and a few that flip flop in and around for three months at a time who own properties here, or perhaps rent properties, who knows? But uh, they come here all the time, and it's the most populated area of Paphos with foreigners. Uh, around about a population of 8,000 total, and around about 4,000 of those are foreign national, primarily British, Scottish, Irish, Welsh, and of course, English, but there's one or two Russians scattered in there, one or two Swiss and Frenchies. Yeah, I met a French guy the other day, and there's one or two from other various parts of the world as well. Dangerous place to be stopping here because people do like to put their foot down on this particular part of the road. Most days there's an accident every day. Luckily, someone was not stuck at my bottom too much. Now, look at that, those are the foothills of Paya, and that's called Paya Hills basically by the locals. And of course you get a spectacular view down over Payer and of course down over Coral Bay out into the blueness of the blue 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 Mediterranean Sea. All that's missing, you know, I keep saying it, is you. Get yourself on a big boat or a canoe. You know what you do, start paddling like crazy. And you never know if your name is Lady Rachel and there's a Cheshire Grinny Cat Man in your life called Sir Jason. You could even do a little bit of new canoodling on the way and we promise never to film it of course there we are and of course if your name's baron john and baron s louise you had a great holiday in paphos you did a little bit of the old karaoke in as usual and uh, chewed the fat and had a great great time indeed and uh, we hope you're having a great time back in the uk we hope the weather's not treating you too bad please say a big big hello to our superstar the greatest singing sensation in the world and of course that is miss fern the baby barn hawk and a big big shout out to my mates and of course her partner in crime 
How the keeper. There we are. Superstars on the little channel known as Marika and me. Here we go, guys. Are you excited? This is the Coral Bay Street. As I promised, there's a girl in a bikini top with a partner in crimes in a pair of shorts, so it can't be cold, can it? And if you start to serve the people around us, well, they're not wearing that much. So even the locals, there you go, there's a girl who's obviously going to work or something. Even she's in a t-shirt and a pair of leggings. This is the Coral Bay Strip. If you're in this area, anything you can want, to be honest, is on this strip. There's also a monster of a supermarket called Philippos just across the road. So perhaps if you can't find that Romeo and Juliet cigar on this particular part of the strip, you're going to find one over there. And as I said a few weeks back now, this road we're on now is all going to be dug up very, very soon. And they're going to make it all one level with the pavements and cobbles and make it all beautiful and put all the legalities back. All the shops will go back to where they should be. And Coral Bay is going to come back much, much better than it ever was. And then during the summer season, they're going to close off the road. So you'll only be able to walk on it, obviously scooter on it, those kind of things and push chairs. But you won't be able to drive a motor vehicle down it, which is a good thing. Obviously, a lot of the restaurants have complained about that. But guess what? That's what's going to happen. So Coral Bay Strip is going to become pedestrianised only, certainly in the summer season. As time goes on, like with the Paphos Promenade, it will be permanently pedestrianised and they'll make better service roads around the back of it for people who have to have deliveries and those kind of things. So that's a good thing. It really, really is. And once it's done, it will be spectacular, just like the Promenade in Paphos and the Harbour in Paphos. Lots of people are going to complain. Lots of people are going to whinge. But once it's done, I promise you, it's going to be spectacular. I've seen the plan, and just like the plan of the promenade and the harbour area in Paphos, on a piece of paper, it looks good, but when it comes back in its real form, I promise you, it's going to look much, much better. Coral Bay Beach is on the left-hand side. If you like a nice beach, well, that could be that special, special place for you. But I think, and a few people do agree with me, that the best beach is a bit further. Now there's the bus, by the way, 615. And you may have noticed it says Harbour. So guess what? It's going to the Paphos Harbour. And if you're coming from the Paphos Harbour and you want to get a bus to Coral Bay Beach or Coralia Bay Beach, which is where we're gonna to come to an end, the bus number is 615. Two euros 50 is what it costs you per person. You can also buy a day pass, a week pass, or a month pass. But I do warn you now, if you lose your week pass or your month pass, you can't get a new one. So, you know, there you go. Perhaps use it as a day pass, in my opinion. But it's up to you. You choose to do what you want to do. If you go and hunt down on paphosbuses.com.cy or just Google Paphos Buses, all the information will come up. Bus service in Paphos is very, very good. They're pretty clean. And most of the drivers speak very good English, but uh, they certainly understand the English that you're going to be talking about. It's like, is this bus to Coral Bay? They're going to say yes or no. Is this bus to the harbour? Again, they're going to say yes or no. Now, my information tells me that the last bus from Paphos back to Coral Bay is 10.30 in the evening. So therefore, obviously, the last bus back to Paphos is 11 o'clock. Now, again... Don't quote me on it, but go and check it, because obviously in the winter season, perhaps those hours will change. But it's a very good bus service. It takes about 20 minutes each way. Obviously, they stop off in the main duppe and sit there for five or 10 minutes. And if you come in from Paphos to Coral Bay, this is where the bus comes to its final destination. Uh, I shouldn't say that, should I, because of those films, but hopefully you don't get your head chopped off. Hopefully you just get off the bus, walk down to that, feast your eyes and digest the beauty and the spectacality and the blueness of the blue 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 mediterranean sea this is coralia bay and in my opinion and in many other people's opinion this is the best beach in the whole of paphos it's that little bit better than coral bay beach let's park up and let you feast your eyes and digest the beauty and the spectacality of the blueness of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Look at those two ladies there. They, well, they are speechless, that's for sure. And they are digesting the beauty and the spectacality. We are in October. Well, that's where we are. And we'll keep coming down here at least two or three times a month in October, November, and December, January, and February. 
just to show you what you're missing. So, get on that tinternet and book yourself that holiday to Paphos. And when you're here, come and hunt us down, Rita and me. We don't bite and we'd love to hear your story. Sit, have a chat or a drink or two. Thanks for watching and hopefully you'll do me the honour of joining me again on my travels in and around Paphos. Thanks for watching.